short video on how to set up the Nano VNA for SWR checks, not to be used with filters. This is just for SWR and Smith chart. Is set a frequency range. You're going to tap the upper right hand side of the screen to bring up the menu. Once the menu is up, tap the start button. The bottom of the screen will show a frequency like this. You're going to tap on the white bar right hand side to bring up the keyboard. Once the keyboard is up, you're going to enter in the frequency you want to start. So I'm going to put in 6.5 M. I'm going to put in 6.5 M and that's going to clear the screen. Screen is clear. You can see the start has changed to 6.5 megahertz. I'm going to do the same thing to put in a stop. So you're going to tap the upper right to bring up the menu again. Tap the stop. You're going to tap the bottom right white area to bring up the keyboard. You're going to tap 7.5 M. Okay, so basically you've got a range of 6.5 to 7.5. That's one way of doing it. Or you could put in a center frequency and put in a span. But let's just go with this for now on the range that you want to start and stop with. Bring up the menu, hit the back button. Now you're going to tap the cal button for calibrate. Okay, you notice the load is highlighted, so we're going to clear that by hitting the back button. Reset. Press reset. Uh, reset will turn green. And now we're going to hit the calibrate button. Okay, these are the loads and opens and shorts that we got to do to calibrate it. And this calibration is only going to apply for Visuar testing. So the first we're going to do is put the open plug on port S11. We're going to put the plug on there. And this is what the open plug looks like. It's just a hollowed out SMA. Okay, once you got that on there, we're going to tap the open. Notice the open just got highlighted and we've moved to short. So we're going to take off the open plug and put the shorted plug on there. And that's what the shorted plug looks like. Just metal with a pin. I'm going to put that on the port. Okay, here we go. The short is on there. We're going to tap short. And it just moved to load. We're going to take off the shorted plug and put on the load plug. And here's what the load plug looks like. It's got the insulation around the center pin. Load plug is on. I'm going to tap load. We're not going to use the ISO LN or the through. We're going to hit done. Uh, and we're going to save it to whatever position you want. I'm going to put it in position zero. Now we've got to take off that load. Okay, your screen should look like this. Very important, the left-hand side should show a capital C number zero DRS. If it does not have the capital C zero DRS, then go through your calibration again. It's not going to be right if you proceed without that. Okay, I just hooked up the antenna to it and I've moved the scroll wheel over here to put the SWR to line it up where the dip is and as you can see I've got about a 1.55 ish 1.54 at 1.54 SWR at 7.08 megahertz all right i hope that helps thanks for watching okay we're going to compare the nano vna readings we just took to a mfj analyzer so this is the mfj and if we look at the swr looks like the dip is right around 1.3 at 7.07 megahertz so this is uh, or 7076 it's pretty consistent with the uh, nano vna except uh, you don't have the graphics showing how deep the uh, q is uh, except watching the meter movements here all right thanks for watching hope that uh, answers a lot of questions see ya